sports fans, and welcome to the Lion's Den. I am uh, Mark Ingram, one of your hosts for this evening. And I'm Brent Ingram, the other host for this evening. And we're here in the Lion's Den. We're bringing you some volleyball action between the Ambrose Lions and the Medicine Hat Rattlers. That's right. These two teams played last night. Med Hat, surprisingly, coming out in three straight sets over the Lions. Not a whole lot of people saw that coming unless you're on the coaching staff of the, of the Rattlers. That's right. Historically, uh, Med Hat, not a super strong team, at least since we've been uh, playing and watching yeah, and not associated with the Lions so over the past three or four years. Exactly. They didn't make playoffs last year. In fact, they, they finished the regular season last in the South standing. So didn't make playoffs in the last four Four out of the last five games between these two teams, I think the Lions have won. That's right, but 3-0 last night against the Ambrose team, which, who was looking pretty strong in their opening week. So uh, maybe a new team, maybe got some new players. I'm excited to see kind of what they bring to the table here. Yeah, so am I. Uh, currently, Medhat is sitting one win, four losses. Uh, the win against Lions was their first win of the season. And who you're going to have to look out for, most of all, is left side Amber Stigter. She's a powerhouse. She leads the ACAC in kills and kills per set. And she had 19 kills last night. So you know in trouble they're going to go out to her. That's right, 19 kills in three sets too. So that's amazing. I remember her from last year. She is a beast. Yeah, yeah she stands 5'11", only in her third year. So expect big things from her basically every night. She's putting herself up there in the top echelon of attackers in the women's league. Something else to keep in mind with the Rattlers, Brent, is that even though they've lost four games of their five to start the season, uh, three of those losses were in five sets. So they're still, they've, they've been competing the whole season so far. True. It just takes a couple of bounces in those five set games. And maybe last night, all the bounces went their way. So they just finished it up in three instead of going all the way to five. Exactly. Uh, on the other side of the net, we got the Ambrose Lions. Of course, is the home team here. Fan favorite. Our, I guess you could say commentator favorite. We're not afraid to show our bias sometimes, although we're pretty, we're pretty it's good about it. It's not that bad. We're, we're biased, but we're not that biased. Yeah, we're just a little biased. Uh, so the first notable thing for the Ambrose Lions is that their star player, Julia Kemper, is out with a concussion. Talked with Julia before the match. She said uh, she got the concussion on Wednesday last week in practice, just diving for a ball, just sort of a routine play. Um, and so she's sitting out this weekend. She is hoping that she'll be able to play next week, so not too long of a turnaround time, but still kind of sucks to see her out of the game. Uh, but filling in for Kemper on the left side, we've got a couple of young players here. Uh, first years, we've first of all got Gina Johnner, who we saw last weekend playing against Lethbridge, who had a fantastic game. And we've also got the first year Madeline Williscroft, who I saw come in a couple of times as like a serving sub or a passing sub, and she did really well. So we'll see what they can bring to the table without their star player tonight. Yeah, Willis-Croft got 11 kills last night. Jonner got 10. So definitely they can hold their own offensively, and, and they're, not, they're not letting their inexperience be a, a liability on the court. That's right. So we are going to leave you now to enjoy the pregame festivities and the national anthem. We will be back in a few minutes to bring you the cast of the actual game. So stay tuned.
All right, just as we get into the game here, folks, someone else to watch out for on the Medicine Rat hat Rattlers side is uh, the libero Shea Suchi. I remember from last year was a tenacious defender, one of the standout players. Fun to watch a really good libero, Brent. Yeah, yeah, definitely look out for her. You'll also have to watch, uh, let's see, Laura Velkoff was a very successful middle. Even though she was in her first year last year, had some successful outings here in this gym that we saw firsthand. And Mackenzie Griffith, of course, also middle, also in her second year. Before well, we have a little bit of time here, I want to go over the keys to the game, starting with Med Hat. First of all, they got 11 stuff blocks last night against the Lions. So the key to continuing that is to serve the Lions aggressively. Force them to run their outsides, don't have any middles. Lewington can be a big middle option for the Lions, so force them to stay, keep the ball away from her and go to the outsides and let your block do its job and keep them in weaker rotations. Just go on long runs and destroy the Lions' morale. Yep. Number two, play safe offense and use your veterans to terminate plays. If you're in trouble, you've got Amber Stichter. She's, she's an all-star. She can get the job done for you. But run a safe offense and don't try to do anything special. Here awesome. we go. So Lewington here with Ambrose's first serve. The Lions get a free ball and run Ali Lesko. Cross court. Brent with Lesko has worked uh, in the past few weeks. I expect to see it quite a bit here tonight in a, in a transition scenario where the Lions are given a free ball or an easy dig. Yeah, she's come a long way with that. It wasn't as successful when they first started running it last year. Of course, that was Lesko's first year as well. Still have to find that setter middle connection. But they've found it now. Out of the back row, number seven, Kennedy Lewis. Yep. Uh, error there from Willis Croft. It was uh, not, a, not quite a free ball, but a roll shot that you definitely want to get a perfect pass on and just put it too close to the net for Zacharias. Now serving number 10, Mackenzie Griffith. Slight discrepancy with the scores. Just some technical difficulties here with the scoring table. Take this time to go get yourself a drink, make a sandwich. Nope, too late. We're back. Griffith serves at Kerr. That's a tight pass. The joust is won by Zacharias, but played back over. Johnner swings from the left side, up high, too high, over the block. And out of bounds. That's Rattler's point. A couple of tight passes in a row, Brent. Uh, it's, it's crazy because it's almost a perfect pass, but instead it's like the worst thing that could possibly happen where you have no options as a setter. But that one was a perfect pass. And this will be Point Lions as one of the Rattlers blockers was on the net. I thought for a second it was Jonner. Nice to see it wasn't. I, I think she did. I think she was just second. Good eye. Better eye than mine. So it'll be Zacharias back to serve for the Lions here. Tied at two. Another troublesome pass for the Rattlers. Another roll shot out there. Oh, but it gets the job done. Lesko is a pretty eager to go up and get that block, but sometimes it might just be better to stay down. Hard to see that coming, though. Yeah, in her it, defense. It is, although at the same time, uh, I see Colin Kubinick, the coach of the Ambrose Lions, shaking his head, and there are a lot of really easy digs that are being missed here by the Lions. Medicine Hat's offense is not clicking at all, but somehow they're still getting kills. Lesko, wow, kept alive by Kerr. That one's almost dug by Zacharias, but Brooke Christie out of the right side for the Rattlers. Getting that one done, putting her team up four to two. Jessica Olke back to serve. That'll be Janessa Olke. Janessa Olke, my mistake. You know, I got the last name wrong, with, or right, which is, I think, much more impressive. Is it pronounced Olki? I'm just going to say it is. Apologies if you are an Olki watching us. We try our best with the pronunciation. Sometimes we uh, mess them up. Yeah, apologies to everyone who hears us mispronounce <laughs> words. It's going to happen. I'm not a linguist. By the way, if you want to shout us out, maybe uh, tell us how to phonetically pronounce your last name. Our Twitter handle is at Ambrose Lions. If you're on Twitter, feel free to give us a shout out. We'd love to chat with uh, anyone who's watching. So kind of a slow start to the game, not only in terms of play, 
but also because they keep taking 30 second breaks between the points to figure out what's going on with the score. Yeah, the down ref just being uh, very meticulous with the scores table, making sure everything is in order. And as the game continues on and the scores table gets used to his demands, I'm sure that we won't have breaks like this very often. Well, I am loving just being able to talk to you instead of yell into the mic. But it's going to get louder pretty soon here. Right side to Stigter, who tips it down the line. It's a net Ambrose. violation on Ambrose. If maybe you haven't watched the game in a couple of years, and you're confused because the rule for a time was that you could touch any part of the net except the top tape, that has now that been rule, reverted back to you can't touch any part of the net at any time for any reason. I understand. I think it makes the referee's job a lot simpler. But at the same time, I love that only touching the top tape rule. Zacharias runs Ashley McKinnon out of the right side. Tight pass. No touch by Lesko, and that ball will fall on the Rattlers' side, Point Lions. Yep. Ashley McKinnon, the court captain for the Lions here with Julia Kemper out. Strong, I believe, second, third year player? Second. Second, second year, year player. player. Strong second Super year player. Super reliable out of the right side. Reliable is the word there, Brent. Yep. Stigter passes it high. And Good Lewis. dig by Johnner that time. Hey! Good tip by Matty Williscroft. Nice tip by Williscroft right over the blocker's fingers. Harder than it looks to get that tip just perfect so that the defense can't reach behind and grab and also make sure that you don't get stuff blocked by putting it too low. It's a good swing off of the set by Janessa Olke by Kennedy Lewis, but a little too high and a little too easily dug. And that time, Ali Lesko serves into the net. Been served now by Laura Velkoff. Low Tough pass, one. and it's going to the outside. Hey, Good aggressive what a swing. Lewis roll shot to Kerr, and Johnner will set Williscroft. Off the block, kept alive, and still good. Tight pass, and another dig by Kerr, but this one's not good enough. I see what you mean, Mark. A lot another of them are just going pass. So way too tight. Right before the game, you and I were talking about uh, passing statistics. So passing scale is uh, a pass is graded on a scale 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 3 being a perfect pass and a 0 being a, an, the worst pass. Ace or uh, unplayable. In my opinion, a 2 is almost as desirable as a 3. Oh, that should be, yep. And the referee does make the right call there. Uh, the setter has to be able to set the ball without the blocker blocking their set when it's on uh, the setter side of the net. So a mistake there from the Rattlers. Anyways, as you were saying, sometimes, yes, a very high what, pass that would be considered a two instead of a three can be just as easy to work with for setters of this caliber. For setters of this caliber, exactly. And now the Ambrose passes are all going for threes, and they're just getting a little bit too tight, just a tiny error, but it's making them lose points. A collision between Janessa Olke and Amber Stigter gives Lions the point. When two players collide like that, and they're both trying to set the ball. Even if it's it comes out clean, call. Yeah. Yeah. Automatic call even if it comes out clean, refs are going to call that 10 times out of 10. Well, Which maybe is not fair. 99 times out of 100. In my experience, I don't know. Good swing by Lewis. Was that over top of the block or in It was seat? over top of the block. So that was actually a really good read by the libero, Maddie Kerr, there. Tough to get a read on that when it's coming over the block. Usually you want to get outside the block. But she almost almost got the dig. Yeah, as a back row defender, fight. especially the libero and the six back, you have to constantly be looking for opportunities to read where the ball is going to be instead of just relying on the positioning of the block. It's a really good no swing by it. Yeah, but I really like that swing. That's right. I thought I honestly thought she got a piece of the block. But even though she didn't, that's a good miss. Yep. Early in the game, we'll take that. She can Hard keep doing contact, that. high contact. Yeah. Ooh, good lead there by Willscroft. Service from number five, Brooke Christie, who will swing at the sea ball out of the back row. Now Willscroft to serve. Good soft block by the center, Zacharias. Picked up by Ambrose. Wilscroft goes for a little too much out of the back row. Yeah, it just seems to be unforced errors that are dragging the Lions down right now. Yep. 
maybe a little bit of nerves playing in their home gym. Sometimes can be written off to that. What a great set by Zacharias. Dug by the Rattlers, though. Still, yeah, that's the right call as well. Two hits on Lewington. Great dig by Kennedy Lewis. Coming in to serve it well. And then dig Willow Lewington, who has looked unstoppable in the past. Ooh, Just played over. over on two. Stigter is blocked, and that ball will fall. Well done by the rookie lineup, the rookie block, excuse me, of Zacharias and Willington. Excellent block that time. Good close by Lewington. And you can see, Brent, when the pass is off that much, the blockers are just able to read exactly where it's going, and they can set up so nice and early, much easier to get stuff blocks. Ooh, that's an ace from Lewington. Lions are making their way back. Another great aggressive serve. Pipe this time, and Gina Johnner, one on one. Well done by Johnner that time. If you're going to go up on sort of an out of system play like that, you have to make sure your hands are very strong so that you don't get too old. Yeah, because it along the whole length of the net, two lonely hands can look pretty appetizing for a hitter who's trying to use the block. That ball is out by Lewington. Where the last two floated down, this one floated up. Those are the breaks. Good run from her, though. Brought her team back within, uh, within one point. So now number 10, Mackenzie Griffith. Will get a float serve deep right at Willis-Croft. Johnner swings off the block and out. She's been swinging aggressively. It's good to see. Yeah, so far, Willis-Croft and Johnner showing that they can play just as well as uh, Julia Kemper here. Yeah. What I like about their swings is they're, they're, they're aggressive, but they're also disciplined in that they're swinging high, hard, and deep, mm -hmm. which is what every volleyball swing should be in theory. Much harder to dig and much harder to block. Mm. Just didn't quite press in there, did Ali Lesko. You can see her holding up her left hand thinking, I know what happened. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> sure what's something wrong with the wrist rotation on this thing. <laughs> Janessa Olke, another float server. Down the line to Johnner, and it's tight. Saved by Zacharias. And that one saved by Lewis. Good scramble by the Rattlers. Let's go out of the middle off the block. Another dig from Lewis. Well done by her to cover that six back. Almost saved by Ali Lesko, but a scramble play ends in a Rattlers point, putting them up 14 to 12. The Olki once again to serve. Wilscroft passes it high. Johnner gets the set. Wow. Wow, they're still going to play that? That's in. Johnner again. High off the block. Good defense by the Rattlers, but Ambrose I'll, able to get the kill there. Yeah, I'll That's give him this. Sushi in the back row. Swing. One arm, one arm dig, Brent. They always work. <laughs> Love seeing one arm digs. Well, they don't, I mean, there was another one that just missed at the end of the play there, but when one arm of the digs time. work, they're super fun to watch. Great Ooh. short serve from Johnner. Falling That's right a nice in little front loopy of float serve. Stigter. Just dropped like a rock. This one's got some heat on it. No touch by Suchi. Suchi. misses it. Swinging the arms again, but a little lucky. Time. You know what, maybe because she was swinging two arms. She had swung one arm there. <laughs> she would have at least gotten a touch on that ball. Probably got it over, gotten a kill. Nice Great serve. serve. Right there from Stigter. Willis-Croft with the roll shot Another into the roll. Pot. Picture perfect roll shot there over the block and in between all three of the back row defenders. Yeah, so Willis-Croft starting to realize that the pot here of the Rattlers defense is susceptible to scoring chances. We'll see how much farther the Lions can exploit that before the Rattlers adapt. But it's working for them right now. They've tied it up at 15. Nice pass by Suchi, though. 
And a good looking swing from number five, Brooke Christie. Mackenzie Griffith heading up to the front row. As will Willow Lewington. It's a spin ball here. It's tight and saved. Very good nice. Set by Very Zach nice. Rice. That was really impressive. Reaching over the net, bringing it back. And of course, Lewington is ready for that. And that's the advantage you get with a setter as talented as Zacharias. But at a certain point, they still have to bring this ball back off the net a little bit. Yeah. Sharp cross from the right side. That'll go out. That's Brooke Christie. So Ashley. both teams starting to settle in here. You can see, Brent, as the passing, as the level of passing increases, the level of play also increases for both teams. Passing just maybe one of the most important aspects of the game for any team. And if we had instant replay, I wish we did, but we don't, we could watch a slow motion replay of after the ball went bounced over the net, I believe almost every defender on the line side stood up and then went back down to try and dig it which is a, a very common mistake for any volleyball team. Yeah, very common. I, I think I did it every year of my career. <laughs> I think I probably still do it. It's just hard. It's like when you're swinging a golf club and they tell you, you know, stay level, but you always raise your shoulders up when you're swinging on your backswing. It's hard. I don't know. Lewington off the step run. That'll work. Zacharias being aggressive, trying to dump it over, almost worked. Good and transition play by the Lions there to get the dig and then the immediate kill. Yeah, good sight by Matty Kerr running up there so Zacharias doesn't have to take it. They can run their offense in system. High middle run. Lions are not happy about that. Lewington down the line and out. This is again that set a little bit behind her. Looks like she's almost getting run out to the antenna there on that run, on that slide run. Is that what you're looking for, Brent, as a as a setter, or are you? Well, yeah, trying you're to trying to beat inside. the blocker all the way out there. All the way. Okay. Yeah. It's a tough float serve. Johnner can't quite handle it. And Medicine Hat on a little mini three-point run, up by two here. I'm going to say if Ambrose loses this point, Colin's going to call a timeout. Ooh, it's deep nice. float serve. Kennedy Lewis putting the Lions in trouble. And Mark, you called it. Time out here by Colin Kubinek and the Lions. Yeah. Hoping to regroup. <sighs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> so a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, this is a tough serve. You know, an overpass by Johnner uh, that goes out of bounds on the mid hat side, and then an ace like just the, just the floor. So we gotta get uh, maybe ice the server here, but more likely just talking to his passers about what yeah. to expect. Just settle in. He knows they can pass the ball. They know they can pass the ball. They just gotta. Because the reason that serve was an ace was not because it was at the speed of light. It was miscommunication between the passers. Yeah. She's had hard serves, but the result of that is that now the passers are second-guessing themselves. So now they're, they don't know who's going to take what. Hence, ball falls in the back 20th of the court. And it's point rattlers. Communication, something they teach uh, all throughout a volleyball player's career. The most important aspect to the game. It's communication. I think so, don't you? Or maybe technical ability? Well, are you talking technical abilities or? No, I'm talking communication. Because like, I would say passing is probably the most important ability in the game. You don't think communication is more important well, than passing? Well, are we talking technical abilities or like ethereal I'm concepts? everything. OK. Anyways, agree to disagree. Great, Great middle run. run. Up to Lewington. And she can hit uh, a variety of shots from just about anywhere. That ball really high and almost behind her. Tough for a middle to hit, but she still is able to snap it and hit it over to five. Float serve was dropping. Well taken by Stigter. Perfect soft block. And the Lions run. Johnner swings deep. Great dig by Suchi in Great the deep dig. corner. That was a good swing. 
Setter Dump will score. That's Getting a great read pot. on the defense of the Rattlers there by Zacharias. Yep. Lesko already had started her run on that slide or step, whatever you want to call it. And John has been a good option out of the left side, so it's a perfect opportunity to do what no one's expecting. Great yes, serve, but well passed. Outside to Sigter. Oh, uh, and they're going to they call her call there on a carry, I think. Oh, two hits. Interesting. Looks like so, uh, yeah, the ref is saying that as she put her hands up to sort of defend her face and also dig the ball, the ball hit one hand and then another. Of course, on the first hit of the rally, that's well, that legal. Was the, that was the second. But that hit. was the second. But uh, Christie is arguing that it was only one hand. Mm -hmm. I didn't see. I thought it was two hands myself. I thought it was two hands. So did the ref. I guess we'll never know. No instant replay. This is what happens. Ooh, Jonner almost had the read on that block. Just drifted a little bit. It's becoming a pretty tight game here in the late stages of the first set. Visiting team up one point. It's a great Good pass pass. from Willis-Croft and Jonner. Yeah, Jonner gets the kill. Yeah, off the outside hand of Janessa Olke. That's not the first time I've seen Jonner go line on a one-on-one -on -one there. Usually when you only have one blocker, the cross-court shot is uh, available. That's your option. And yeah. that's your best option. But Jonner likes to turn it down line, something the blocker's not expecting. Ooh, not a Rough great pass, pass here. from Lewis. I'm trying to make better on that set. Puts it out of bounds. Lions all of a sudden. Two points away from the first set victory. And it's Medhat's turn to call a timeout. Head that is a 5-1 run for the Ambrose Lions after that timeout, Brent. Head coach Kim Stonehouse would like to stop the bleeding and uh, probably ice the serve of Lewington as well, who's heating up. Maybe Ambrose is stronger, stronger yeah. server. Yeah. So before the game, we talked about keys to game for Medhat. But now let's also talk about what Ambrose has got to do. Yes, let's First talk off, about Ambrose. You <laughs> here in the Lions Den. <laughs> so you heard me say that Medhat had 11 blocks against them last night. Yeah. So what that tells me is that they weren't passing well enough to run their middle, and their op their offense was very predictable as a result. The passing looked a little bit shaky to start the set, but it's it's cleaning up pretty nicely. Um, like we said. The passes that they did miss in the first set that they were losing points on were almost perfect passes. It's just that they put them too tight to the net. Starting to relax a little bit, put them a little bit more off the net so Zacharias can do something with them. No coach's point for Kim Stonehouse. Stigter tips it down the line. Oh, almost kept alive. Good readiness there by Stigter. That was a great dig down the line by Zacharias. Yep. But she was ready for it. Pushed the party ball down on the floor. One hand. One hand. One hand to dig. One hand to digs. It didn't really work out, though. So. Oh, oh, that serve drops. Heartbreaker. Ambrose serve receive is not ready for it. And this time, it's Colin Kubinick's turn to call a timeout. Well, that was really quick. Two really quick points. That's right, yeah. Just like that, tides of the volleyball game can change. Uh, so the key to the game, the second key to the game, Brent, for the Ambrose Lions, is to come out of the gate strong. They didn't really do that. When I wrote this, I figured that coming out of the gate strong would give them a little bit of swagger going into the rest of the game, especially after a 3-0 loss last night. Yep, that's right. And hindsight's 20 -20. Always, of Can't course. blame the keys to the game that were written before the game. We're not fortune tellers. Um, regardless of how they may or may not have come out of the gate, winning this set would help tremendously. It would, yeah. They've got, they're in a tight spot right now. They've got to side out this ball. And then uh, win a couple points in a row. But if they can't figure out a way to receive this serve, they're going to lose the set here. So we'll see what they can do. So it'll be Janessa Olke trying to serve her team into the second set. Ooh, tough pass. And the Rattlers are going to run. Sticked her. Stuck Stuck by, by Kerr. By Kerr. Free ball. And I'm. I'm guessing it's going to go out to Stigter again. Nope, right side. Blocked block by what Jonner. A block by Jonner. Coming through in the clutch. Turned her hand back in. Colin Kubinick impressed. Uh, Rattlers are kind of clicking. Like, they looked really good in that rally. 
Ambrose just pulls it out. Brad Kilb shouting to his team that they're going to number 11. That's Stigter. But they don't. They're giving Christy another shot. Nice dig. Willis Cross. Wow, cross what a court. set again from Zacharias. I'm so impressed with how she can run up to this ball, even though it looks like she's a little bit late, and stay clean, not touching the net. And another timeout. Looks like both coaches have burned all they've got in terms of timeouts. A four timeout set. Wow. You know, you don't see this every day. It's been a while. But now, sitting at 25-24, are the Lions feeling a lot better than they did, like, I don't know, a minute and 45 seconds ago? Yep. It's been quick plays between all these timeouts. That's right. And who do we have back to serve right now? I don't know. After Lewington, it would be... I, I, I have no idea. We'll find <laughs> out. We're going to find out in 37 seconds, everybody. Hopefully it's a strong server. Uh, try and ride this momentum as long as they can. Because Med Hat has shown to be a good team during the long rallies. Like, they have a lot of composure. Yeah. They play a scrappy defense. Yeah. The, the defense longer the rally uh, goes, I feel like, the more in favor of Medicine Hat the rally becomes. Having a really scrappy libero like Shea Asuchi yeah. really helps to extend rallies like that. And then also, as, as well, you have a Terminator in Amber Stigter who just can end plays. It's very important. So Gina Johnner serves deep to Suchi, who somehow makes a play on it. Brooke Christie oh, blocked by Lesko. Block Lions it. come back, 26-24, winning the first set. That's a great comeback. All right, so they came out of the gate strong. Wow, okay, very nice. This will help to ride that confidence into the next one. Well, let's talk a little bit more. If you're tired of hearing our voices, you can just mute the stream. But if you want to hear a little bit of analysis, stay. Stay here. Yeah, stay tuned. Listen a little. Talk back to us. Hit us up on Twitter. It's at Ambrose Lions. In case you missed us last time, at Ambrose Lions. Listen to me. Hit us up on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like a young man. So, Brett, one player that we haven't talked about uh, for the Medicine Hat Rattlers, Janessa Olke. The setter, first year, and coming from, look at this, our alma mater, Bears Park Christian School and College. BCS, wow. I yeah. had no idea. And what's funny is that the Lions just practiced, I think, two Wednesdays ago at Bears Paw. It's crazy. Yep. Been a long time since the old volleyball days of Bears Paw. Anyways, uh, looking really nice. Her hands are very soft. Just so yeah, she has a great, you, you were saying before, when we were watching her warm up, a great weight to the ball. Yeah, that's right. It looks like the ball's coming out cleanly, but also the just the rotation on the ball, the height of the set, uh, sort of the arc that the set is taking, just all look really clean and uh, like appetizing. Speaking as a, as a former left side, they're just balls that I want to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if the Lions want to win the next one, a little bit more convincingly than the last one. Would be nice. What are they going to have to do? I can give you one hint. Uh, well, I'm thinking of one thing in particular. Okay, give me a hint, and then I'm going to try and think about, say what you're thinking. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. It's just a letter. I mean a number. Two. Pass twos. Pass twos. Is that it? Yes. Did I get it? Yes. Yeah. Instead of trying to pass the ball perfectly, I knew you would come around, Brent. I knew you would it, see my side of the story no, here. I, I'm reasonable. I knew you I would agree it. with me. Instead of trying to get a perfect pass. I really pass, think so. I, I mean, I don't don't pass twos. That's not your goal. But, like, why can't your goal be a 2.5, you know? Yeah. Like, just a high sort of uh, maybe a couple feet off the net, maybe between the net and the attack line. A setter at this level is going to be able to do every option with that set. Well, like, Zacharias can handle it. The middles can handle being run in a slightly less than in-system offense. Yep. I really of think course, I, I, it's not as easy to run your middles with that no. pass. No, but it's about error it's elimination. Exactly. It's easier to limit your errors. It's going to be Zacharias to start serving here in the second set. Doesn't yeah, look like any lineup changes on either side of the court. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, 
ball while we figure out the score in these familiar rotation slash score discrepancy breaks. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break. Stay tuned. Wow, exciting rally to start the set. I couldn't even get a word in. Unfortunately, it, unfortunately it had to end on a tip that went out. But was that um, Ashley I McKinnon running an X-ball? Swinging out of the, was it a middle? Or? Swinging out of the middle. Uh, it might have, I forget if it was an X-ball or a middle. And oh then boy. immediately okay. afterwards going to the right side. So communication error there for the Lions. We're down two points to start the second set. Nothing to worry about so early in the set. All righty, get back into the game here. Kennedy Lewis, strong float server. And it's an ace. And proves wow, me right. right. Thank you, Kennedy. Not enough players do a that. A blessing from the commentator, perhaps? More often than not, I'll say, look at this player. They can serve the ball so hard. And then, and they, then they put it into the bottom tape. Yep. Not this time, though. Zacharias runs Johnner. Was there a touch? I don't think I don't there was a touch. Think yeah, there was. Wow, that's that's crazy. What a bounce. Yeah, I really think that was the right call. Yeah. I don't think there was a touch on that. Even though, just sort of bad luck there, really. Yeah. Considering where Johnner hit the ball on that net, just about hit an arm, just about went into the court. Good pass by Willscroft. No touch on that ball either. Lions trying to settle down here. Currently yeah. down five. Amidst nothing. the slew of errors. Yep. Lewis puts an easier one in. Another hex ball. Suchi digs that one with one hand. Kerr tries to respond with a one-handed dig of her own, but that ball is out off the hit of Ember. Yeah, and Medicine Hat is rolling. Call Kubinik has to call a timeout. Currently six nothing for the visitors. I guess I didn't really like how it felt to lose a set against the Lions. Decided to clean it up a little bit. And the play is looking clean. I think that's the word for it. It's not like Ambrose has given them too much of an opportunity to, uh, they're just not giving much back. When they do get the balls over the net, it's pretty easy for Med Hat to stay clean. Yeah. But it's nice as a team to feel like you're not making any errors for a six point run. Right? Definitely. And it starts with the serving. Kennedy Lewis is uh, putting the Lions in trouble. It takes a good pass from Maddie Williscroft to give the Lions our first sign of life. And if they can't get it done after that, then the Rattlers are just gonna keep keep rolling. Yep. Still lots of time here. Uh, six points into the set. Yeah, you know what? Six nothing looks intimidating on the scoreboard. I think it's the zero. Like it is six one feels a lot, seven one, while also intimidating, is just not quite as intimidating as 6-0, right? Yeah. Like a, the goose egg on your scoreboard, you don't want to see that. But I've seen bigger leads. Have you? Evaporate. Sorry, I was looking for the right word. I have seen bigger leads evaporate, especially with this Lions team, who are so fond of crazy comebacks. Yeah, they are. Regardless of what's going on uh, tonight, with the sets, with who's playing well. I just know that this game's gonna go to five sets. <laughs> it always does. I think Mark both my games, words. we're gonna be commentating 10 sets of volleyball, and we're not gonna get home till always happens. 1.30 in the morning. Hey, and they're on the board. That's a coach's point for we're Colin Kubnick. the coach's point. And Brent, as I'm looking at our uh, stat sheet here that you and I have volunteered to write on, I see that we haven't taken any stats at all yet. It was a nice idea. It was, yeah. There's just too much. Too much going on. Stichter swings high wow, and deep. What a great defensive play there. 
curb, bump sets, Ashley McKinnon. Running stick to her, quick ball. Oh, well dug by Suchi. Lesko puts that one over. Rattler is stick to her again. Off the block. And almost, almost. played. A couple of Lions players falling down in the wrong places. Those are good blocks. Brent, uh, Ambrose's outside blockers are doing a fine job right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm thinking McKinnon, Johnner especially. Well, but Johnner also, had a great dig. Yeah. Good leave that time by Kerr. Almost took it. Those serves are so tempting because you just never know when they're going to drop. Unless you're Josh Rice. He which always case, knows. You always know if it's going in or out. Or this guy I play men's league with, Derek Gust. He has never missed an out call in his life. That is impressive, Vince. Middle run, deep, deep shot. Corner. Well done by Laura Velkoff. That slide is working. And that's the kind of play that'll give your team momentum, even though the other team is trying to make that comeback. Claw their way back. Well, Ambrose is on the board here, but their two points have both come from missed serves. So they have yet to put anything together themselves. That's what you want to see as a coach. Ball's out, but Ooh. it will be a net violation, I believe. On the Lions block. Or a touch? No, I think it was a Lions blocker on the net. Number six, Madison Willscroft. Madeline Willscroft, excuse me. Wow, that thing was. Willscroft into the block. Really good looking approach there from Willis Croft. Yeah, she's got great transition offense. Yeah, and I feel like you can kind of tell a little bit of frustration in the Lions, but it's not a, it's not right now. It's not like a bad yeah, kind of frustration. It. It's it's they're taking out their anger on the ball, they're trying to play a lot better. Sometimes it can really work out for you. Yeah. First kill of the set there for the Lions. Sloppy set there, but it's not called by the official. Wow, dribbling over the net. And stakes are blocked by Williscroft, saved by Suchi. Dug by Johnner. Wow! And how did she stay clean? <laughs> Another perfect soft block by Stigter, who will swing. Oh, no, she'll tip it. And that's that still alive dug. It's a pancake, oh. but it's not able to be put over. Good rally there by both teams. Ambrose starting to stick with it a little bit more, getting some uh, defensive points put together. I'm really impressed with the block coverage. The block the defense of the Rattlers. Yeah. Even if their players are getting blocked, it's not falling easily. Great serve. That's all Johnner can do to just contain that. Sharp cross court. Another free ball over from the Lions. Christie is dug. Zacharias runs Willis Croft. Oh, oh it sets out, but nobody is there to cover. Unfortunate for the Rattlers. Yeah, rare communication error on in a transition play. They've been dynamite on those plays tonight, but missed there. Did someone slip? I thought oh, I yeah, saw someone could slip. That's out. Willscroft trying to tag the line. Closer than I thought it was going to be. But still, not something you can give up when you're down six points. Nope. So Laura Velcroft, the middle player, back to serve here. The only spin server on this Rattlers team, I think. OK, that makes three out of five points for the Lions that have been missed serves. Same with it, still uh, down six points. But Remember again, six zero at one this point. is not, see, this looks better, right, than 6-0. 11-5, oh yeah. This looks like a, a mountain that can be overcome. Great deep shot by Kennedy Lewis in transition. Yep. Excuse me, out of system is what I meant to say. That's tough. I, I think I would like to see Willis Croft slide over a little bit there. She had one blocker there that she can uh, play around. Yeah, slide that's, over and pick up the ball. That's what's difficult about being a six-backs defender is you always have to be roving. Yeah. Nice dig by Christie. 
And John are off the oh. block and out. I think they have to start taking advantage of that a lot more. Going after the block. Yes, and uh, uh, using it. Johnner is definitely uh, is definitely doing that tonight. Loves to go line there, went line, and the blocker wasn't ready to turn it back in the court. Gives Johnner the kill. The few times she's tried it, it's really worked. So I think she should just work at it until it stops working. A couple of shaky sets to the left side by the center Olki here for this Rattlers team. Her right side sets have been butter, looking really good. But the left side sets, seems like uh, her fingers are just coming over top of the ball. There's a lot of topspin, which is something you never want to see on a set. Wow, what a dig by Suchi. One arm, keeping that alive. Middle run to Lesko, and a great touch by Christy. And Lewis out of the back row. One arm dig. It's a battle of scramble defense right now. Step run, cut, sharp cross court yeah. by it's Mackenzie Griffin. It's a block there from, I believe that was Mackenzie Johnner and Lesko. Oh no, yeah, Johnner and Lesko, that's right. Yeah. This is the issue with those slide runs, right? If your blocker doesn't get all the way out to the antenna, it'll be easy for the, the, for the person running the slide run, excuse me, to find a hole in the block. So the optimistic six point run excuse me, lead, has turned into eight points. Yeah, and they're starting to run out of time, right? Like, there's only so many points in the set, and it's already halfway yeah. over. Well, what really is the problem here? That they're not executing well enough? Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of issues here. Um, I think I, I'm seeing a lot of hesitancy in scramble plays and in long rallies. A lot of these points have been surprisingly long rallies. It's not something you see very often in the game this one-sided. Yeah. Um, but Ambrose has been sticking with a lot of these points, but they're just not as crisp as uh, Medicine Hat in their, again, communication. Okay. Which is the most important thing. I will say this about Medicine Hat. I mean, not to just, if I, when I talk too much about the Lions' errors, it makes it seem like Med Hat's not doing anything. But the defense of keeping all these balls alive, and these scramble plays by Medicine Hat, that can be absolutely uh, infuriating mm -hmm. if you're a team who's you put in a really good ball, but somehow they get a hand on it, somehow they bring it back, and then if you make an yeah, error, yeah, it can be disheartening, right? nothing, demoralizing. Yeah. That's both of those words are better than mine. Fast set there. Johnner gets it to fall. Much needed point. That was a Briarcrest set. <laughs> well, she's from Karenport. It's in her blood. Running the fast offense. So it'll be Johnner back here to serve. Hoping that she can find her way back into the set. 14-7. That's a big lead. Okay, now it's up to the Lions after they get this roll shot. To make a good play here. Good swing. Great dig. Oh, great dig. That Another was awesome free ball. Hit. Now they need to execute offensively, and they do. Let's go. Ali, let's go. Away. That's more of what we need to see. Yeah. Two strong attacks. There was good defense notwithstanding. They still came away with the kill. Great pass there by Stinkter. Oh my gosh, what a swing. Great shot. It's a nice pass and swing there. That ball, that set pretty far off the net. I didn't know she had that shot available to her. Standing at 5'11", she's able to raise up and have a lot more options than most hitters. Willis Croft, cross court. She can also hit that cross court shot. Uh, and a heavy swing as well. Good awareness by her to swing at the um, the middle defender where she would have normally had Shea Suchi. Not to take away any take away anything from Mackenzie Griffin, but Middle's Suchi clearly not typically known for their defense. Yeah. Untimely miss by Lesko. Nine to sixteen now for the visiting Rattlers here in this second set. As Janessa Olke goes back to serve. Great serve from Olke. Touched by the block alive. of the Rattlers. Willitscroft off the block. Net violation there. And look at this, the Ambrose, it's after uh, 20 points since that 
Six to nothing run by the Rattlers. The score is the same. 16-10 here, six point difference. That's out. Good Ooh. call by the Rattlers. Two misses in a row for the Lions. Yeah, and I don't think those are the first two misses of the set either. It's been error city out here for them. At the very least, they're starting to clean up their offense. Yep, their passing's looking a lot better. Oh, a rare scramble dig miss by Se Shea Suchi. And that's a kill for Gina Johnner. Hey, <laughs> a kill on a zero pass. Now, do you count the zero pass and the kill? If I was taking stats on the Lions bench, I would. Perfect pass by Suchi running the middle. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going to be an absolute plant. I thought she was going to bury that thing. No, it was but just, it just goes to show my vantage point isn't that great. I no, we're, we're on the don't side Don't have the best here. depth perception up here. And the ball was way past her and she couldn't reach it. <laughs> but for a second, I thought she was just going to bury really it. excited. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Johnner puts it down, and almost kept alive by Suchi, but the Lions get that point. Hey, they're coming back, man, within four. And are the, I'm wondering if uh, Kim Stonehouse is thinking about calling a timeout here. A point or two more? I'm going to say if they get to 15, it's timeout. Whoa, nice wow, dig what a from dig by Willis Croft. And she'll just set it yeah, over. That's gonna be oh. a two hit call. Initially, like she knew as soon as she put her hands up. It, well, initially, it looked like she was going for the standing roll, which you never want to do. should never do that. But she chose wisely and set it. But unfortunately, tough ball to set. That it, happens. it happens. That's a tight pass. Yep. Played in just the right spot by Mackenzie Griffith. And the Rattlers right back in control here. And with their one of their strongest servers back. So the Lions are going for a double sub here, which is where a setter gets subbed in for the right side to play in the back row. And uh, right side gets subbed for the setter playing in the front row. At this Typically, point, typically you do the right the double sub to have more of a blocking presence at the net. Exactly. So now number two, Kelsey Olsen, coming into the front row. She's standing five foot eleven. She's actually a middle in her first year here at Ambrose. Getting a bigger block <laughs> on... Sorry, I just heard the ref ask who the floor captain was. Sarah Jans raised her hand and the ref says, congratulations. <laughs> Love a ref with, some, with a good sense of humor. A miss keeps Ambrose in the game. And with their strongest server, back to serve. Uh, yeah, at this game at least. I think they're strongest server. Lewington to serve. A lot of spell wow, on that ball, up. but the ref lets it go. Sarah Jans. Oh, a nice aggressive play by Kelsey Olsen. I can't believe she did not touch the net. She was so close to touching the net. Millimeters. Brent, I got to say, I uh, really, really like it when refs don't call a lot of two hits. I think that the two hit call, to, it call is the most over called play uh, error in volleyball. A great read off the block. The set of Sarah Jan's not quite high enough. Good, Good digs in six Willis back. Rock. That's gonna be a dig and Ambrose has a chance to capitalize. Olsen roll shot down the line. It'll be sticked her out of the back row. Another dig. This time, Sarah Jans. Willis Croft out of the Love back. that swing. Christy will set Stigter. Oh, oh what a smart great. shot by Stigter. 80% roll shot out of the I back row. That. To finish a tremendous, <laughs> excuse me, everybody, tremendous rally <laughs> by both teams. A tremendous. <laughs> yeah, that was an awesome rally. Really good play by both teams. Lots of digs. Stigter, what a shot to finish it. Roll shot put out. Both teams running a really, um, I don't want to say lazy, because they're just missing on a lot of the passes and digs. 
but it, I guess loose is the word I'm looking for, offense. Um, where the setter is taking a lot of the first balls, uh, even though they seem like easy roll shots. But the pass off the net, a lot of the time, the libero will roll under it and bump set rather than the setter trying to work towards it. And they're getting a lot of back row sort of roll shots into the other team. I guess at this point in the set, the emphasis is on safe play rather than killing the ball. Yeah. That's out. Amos has made some really rough misses here at times yeah. where even just a made serve would be good, but a, a strong serve would be excellent for it. Because as we've seen, I mean, no team is immune to errors. The Rattlers have had their fair share this set. Good bump set there. But Jonner is unable to get it over the net. It's a tough play, honestly. Good aggressive serving here from Kennedy Lewis. Olke runs Griffith. And now McKinnon, roll shot, dug by Suchi. They're and gonna finally call that. a two-hit call is made. Pretty quick on that whistle, but uh, I think the problem with this one, Brent, was the amount of side spin that you saw yeah. instead of the top spin. Really, if a ball has top spin, it's really easy to see that being hit with two hits and still having topspin. Side spin is a different story. What a hit. What a and hit that, from Stigter. That's what you get when you have an all-star like Stigter swinging outside. Yep, she's been their rock. Even out of the back row, like you were saying. If the setter's not there, the libero's just going to put a nice high ball into the middle of the court, and she can get it done out of the back row too. Every Lions fan in the gym hoping that one would find its way over the net instead of under. Tough pass there, and you got to imagine that may be the last gasp for the Lions this set. 24-17 24-17, barring. really tough to come back. Well dug by Griffith. And Stigter swinging for the fences, but no touch on that block. Mistake there. Ambrose still playing hard. Nice swing there from Willis Croft. Can I just give a quick shout out to the, the aggressive serving in crunch time by the Rattlers? They're not, yeah. their, they're not keeping their, taking their foot off the gas. That's a good call. It's something I didn't pick up on either. Middle run. Wow, played a by left. the left hand. Stigter, of course, will get the final kill to win this set. This one goes down. Tie it up. 1-1. One, one. Well, we were going to get an interview for you if one team had gone up two sets to nothing. But seeing as how it's 1-1, one to one, we will bring you an interview with assistant coach of the women's team, Brad Kilb, after this next set. When it's 2-1 to one for somebody, who knows? We're going to get Brad up here, who is an absolute coaching legend. If you're not familiar with the volleyball Alberta scene, we'll get him up here to get some insights from how it looks down on the bench. In the meantime, we're going to give you a little bit of a break from my voice and my brother's voice for the next two minutes and 20 seconds. Go ahead and make yourself a snack. And we will see you back here for set number three here in the Lions Den.
And we're back. So after an exciting first set, where both teams were maybe not bringing their A game, but you know, a similar game, maybe both bringing their B games. They were bringing their A game in the last like 10 points or so. Yeah, we had a second set where one team was bringing, yeah, their A game, maybe a B plus game, and the other team was bringing about a C minus. Kind of, I was gonna say C minus as well, so. Yeah, it's because we're brothers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So hoping for more from the Lions in this third set. Zacharias back to serve. We'll see what she's got. Oh, looks like we have a lineup change from the Lions. Number two, Kelsey Olsen coming in to swing right oh, side. For Ashley McKinnon. Yeah. Interesting. And another side spin set. It's going to be called by the official. It's good to see if you're a Lions fan. Lions taking an early lead here. Of course, we never want to see unforced errors from the other team. No, we like good uh, volleyball. We like everyone playing at their best, and then we want to beat them. You know? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I like to see anyway. Whoa, that was close. Zacharias. Close. Not a bad miss there from Zacharias. Two inches out the back. And sending Mackenzie Griffith back to the service line for the Rattlers. She's got a strong serve of her own. Oh, you see that thing drop. Yeah, making him think. Roll shot from Johnner, easily read and dug by Stigter. Wow, saved by Griffith. Good rally here. Mm -hmm. Girl go right Great side set. to Olsen. Oh, I thought it was a really good bump set. Just got a little bit, um, if it makes sense, her feet got a little bit handcuffed on that yep. approach. Frozen in place. Get it, get it! Oh, nice try. Very nicely, nice run, let's say. Good by Willis Croft. Croft. But another point from the Rattlers here who are off to another strong start. Last set, of course, it was a 6-0 start. This set 3-1. See if the Lion can stop the bleeding here. For those counting, three, is it three or four what of I the Lions players are first years on the court right now? And a kill from Johnner there. Finds a hole through the block. It's Squeaks four. it between the block and the antenna. Sorry, Brent. Uh, Sorry. So four first years four on the Four of the, the six here? players on the court right now are in their first year. Once Lewington comes back on, it's going to be five. Everyone except for Maddie Kerr. Wow. Okay, so what the Lions need to start doing is, I mean, this sounds dumb. Sounds Digging Amber Stichter, yes. But she's not really going at the block. She's hitting around the block. Well, so that's why they need to start digging, right? Exactly, like, knowing if that. Going around the block, it means the block is good. Our defenders well. are definitely good enough to set up around a block and dig Rutabaga. accordingly. Forgot that's what it was called. It's a, it's a rutabaga oh, when, the, when the blocker uh, blocks the ball and it's just sort of up around the blocker and they still have a chance to get it, but they don't know where it is. Shout rutabaga at them and it's sure to not confuse them at all and allow them to immediately get the ball up. One of two things is going to happen. You're either <laughs> going to get a confused look on the middle's face, or they're going to play the ball up and you're going to win the point. And sometimes both of those things happen. But more often what happens is you see the confused look and they never, and the ball ever, drops. ever get the ball up. So we've seen a, a lot of missed runs between Olki and uh, Belkov here. The middle for the Rattlers. Here is, oh, one Big that one. they connect on, but a huge block by Lesko, I believe. No, by Lewington. I love the Selly. I love the Selly, too. She just turns around with her hand in the air with one finger. She's like, I did that. <laughs> yeah, a good Selly can really make or break a play in volleyball. So let's go back to serve her. Ambrose is coming rolling back. It's 5-4 for the home team. Rutabaga! All right, so the other crucial thing about the Rutabaga is that you have to yell it after the ball has already dropped on the floor. <laughs> um, you guys are starting to get the picture at home. Yeah. It never works.
Good, good serve. serve. That's the second good serve in a row. Nice run there. Lewington is dug. And a good push outside by Olke. So again, we see some of the Lions defenders popping up after the ball goes off the block and then going back down trying to save it. Yes. What they need to do is stay low stay so they low can play that and ball. And then not hit the floor until after they've made the dig, right? That's right. It's a missed pass there from Kerr. That'll be an ace for Amber Stigter, putting in a lot of work behind the service line as the Lions are trying to dig deep here. Mm -hmm. It's a game of runs. Nice little run by the Rattlers to begin the game, followed by the Lions, and now the Rattlers turn again. Wilscroft swings into the block, and uh, definitely a playable ball off the block. Unfortunately, Matty Kirk was just in the wrong the position. Dig. Yeah, on the one-arm dig. That's a great pass by Johnner. And that's what you want to see on a perfect pass. Run your most reliable option. Willow Lewington getting it done from the middle. Yeah, really nice play by Lewington there. Recognizing the set's a little bit low. Cuts it off early. Gets it down to five there. It's a tough ball to dig. Although it's tough to have your most reliable option out of the middle. Yeah. Hard to stop, but hard to run. Olke, back sets. Whoa, wow. another big one. Huge block there. Lewington, such a player, man. First year middle out of Calgary, Alberta. Went to Crescent Heights High School. Where's Crescent Heights, Brent? Not like I've lived in the city for the past 12 years. Don't know a lot of where everything is. That's a... That was a big miss. <laughs> it happens. It was well out of bounds. Happens to everyone. Yep. It does indeed. It was indeed well out of bounds. Wow, that ball's going over, oh, and the Lions will take it. Party ball. That's the Ambrose special. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> but usually we're the ones missing the party balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Hits the elbow, slides up the forearm and sort of hits some backspin on your wrist and sails out of bounds. 10 bricks up. <laughs> and all you can do is laugh. Yeah. Wow, what that a serve better. by Croft. Wow. Passed up decently, though. Great dig by Johnner, and she'll get the swing off the block. Nice swing, but a great dig by Stigter. Blockers on both teams doing well to slow the ball down here. Yeah, and I believe that went off of the, yep, the block yep. followed by the antenna, correct call by the officials. Block of Brooke Christie. And Brent, that's something that I always forget about when I watch Stigter play, because she's obviously a great offensive option. But she's getting a lot of digs. She's a very good back row player. Yeah. Oh, short serve there. Passed up by Stigter, and it'll be rolled over. Tight that's pass. A tight, tight set, set. yeah. Christie roll shots. Lewington, deep. Yep. And that is such a difficult st uh, shot to block and dig. The that's deep shot from middle. Yep, that's bread and butter. Really nice set there from Zacharias to get it high enough for Lewington, who can reach probably higher than anyone on the court, maybe except for Stigter. Um, so hard to block and almost impossible to dig. Kennedy Lewis off the block and falling on the Lions court. Wow, Lewington pounds that he one. That's it. If Ambrose can continue to capitalize on these free balls or roll shots, get good passes, they can just go to Lewington as much as they like. Except, of course, when she's not in the front row. I mean, they're <laughs> going to have to find someone else now, but <laughs> let's go. Other, other players need to step it up. She'll do what she can from the service line. Just a free ball. 
and Olke runs Lewis on the outside. And that is the value of just putting over free ball. Let the other team make errors. If you were yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't think she should have just stayed down and bump set that or bump that over the net. Like that was, a, she could make a play on that set. That was Zacharias um, who bumped that over. Oh, sorry. We're on the wrong page here. Great defense from the Lions. Swing. Wow, what a play. Lions point. That was awesome by Willis Croft. The presence of mind to go up on that. Yeah. That's a really hard shot in, too, just over the tape. Suchi had a great play to, to get the ball up, but just wasn't enough. Willis Croft is doing really well at six back right now. She's making the correct reads. She's getting touches on a lot she's of balls. really well, honestly. That's a, oh, it's a middle dig. Middle dig. Lewis off the Good block. block. Let's Middle go. Again, and it's successful for Ambrose. That'll work. Kim Stonehouse is furious. Does not look happy. That's enough middle scoring here. Her team down by four. Stonehouse calls the first time out of the set. Ambrose is really clicking right now, and Brent, the passing is so good. Zacharias is playing very well right now. Yeah. Often something that you miss as a fan because uh, setters don't get kills, and that's the exciting part of uh, volleyball. But she's she's probably uh, she's leading this team on this run. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. The two six backs of the of the teams right now. You've got Stigter and Williscroft. Both of them, I would say, Stigter especially, are making the reads. It's wonderful to see because they're yeah. just in the right place at the right time, almost every time, just extending these rallies and keeping their teams alive. And times have changed. They're uh, currently playing Kanye West on the sound system in Am the Ambrose Gym. It's a different era. Something I am enjoying. Gone are the days of, uh, I don't skillet. know. Skillet. Skillet. 1,000-foot crutch. Cutlass. Hillsong United. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're still down there somewhere. Oh, big yeah, swing from Mackenzie shot. Griffith. Exactly what a team needs. Looked like Jonner had a good read on that. I was actually watching her, expecting her to get a block, but just too big of a seam there. Oh, that's in. Is it not? No, they're yeah, calling it out. That's Wow, no, they're going to call it. That. They're going to call that in. The head ref overruling the line judge and no complaint from the Med Hat side. I think that's yeah, the right call. Just a miss from the linesman. Tough shot to be honest from from the from our state our, our table here. I thought it was out. I thought it was like a foot in, but <laughs> I I've been okay. known to make some really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to say how wrong you were. Yeah, thanks. I was going to say I've been known to make some really bad calls. Hard swing from Stigter, dug by Willscroft. Jonner oh, nice. through the seam. Jonner loves to sneak it inside there. Okay, so see how fast they're running Jonner there? Yeah. That's faster than they're running Willscroft and faster than they run Kemper as well. And she uh, is able to capitalize on the late block so well by just sneaking it inside the antenna before the block can get there. That's definitely a strong suit of hers. Likewise, a strong suit of Willis, Willscroft's is swinging high, hard, and deep. Yep which is probably why they're more comfortable just running her at a reasonable tempo. It's a dump. Great Score dump by there. Janessa yep. Olke. Limiting the lead to four. Griffith played up by Williscroft. Oh, big block. Good block there by Olke. That's Olke at number 15, Megan Hober. There's a tough serve here. Willscroft did well to fight that one off. This one's in as well. Good, Good deep serves here. Yes, let's go. Down. The middle is really working for Ambrose. 
as long as the uh, passing of the Lions can, yeah, I didn't think it was Ali yet. As long as the passing of the Lions can get their middles involved, they've tapped into a rich vein of offense here. <laughs> We've struck offense. <laughs> um, good save there by Olki. Yeah, nice strong swing, like you said, high, hard, and deep. Um, that one tough to block because she's hitting it high at the hands of the blockers, and the, the hands are the last thing to sort of set as a blocker. Um, a lot easier to tool the hands than the arms. Yeah. So it's, I don't know how many right side sets we've had from the Lions this set, but it's, it's just feed the left sides in the middle when you can. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It's working. It's working out really it's well. It's working. They're up 18-13. Here wow, in this five point lead, really. When it's five, when it's best of five, the third set is so important. So we hope you guys are enjoying the game. Once again, if you weren't here when we said this last time, hit us up on Twitter <laughs> <laughs> at Ambrose Lions. <laughs> We're laughing, but it's not a joke. Actually, it's do it. It's not a joke. No, really, do it. Yeah, we definitely have a Twitter handle. And it's definitely at Ambrose Lions. We would love to hear what you have to say if, if you're enjoying what we're hosting for you. If you're not enjoying it, we would also love to hear from you. We're just happy that you're watching, really. Apologies if I'm yelling into the mic. I'm competing with MC Hammer. Yeah, the sound system in here is really loud. It's like a, it's like a 16th century chapel, the acoustics are so good. What a shot. Big kill. Deep line by Deep Amber Stigzer. And I was uh, just going to say, Brett, that the Lions have been blocking Stigzer really well in this set. This time she just goes right around them. Yeah, which she's pretty much impossible to, sh uh, to stop shots. She's made way more of an impact defensively this set than offensively. Good pass, and it's a middle run as we expected. Chicken wing dig. A lot of rotation on that ball, but the one hand go. and a good out of system set. Suchi goes out to Stigter. Good dig by Johnner. Willis Croft. Oh, and it gets a hand. It looked like it might have been going out of bounds. I also kind of think it touched the block. I think slightly. it did as well. So good Suchi. effort by Suchi. Suchi obviously saw that. She sees it all. She sees it all. She gets a touch on everything. It's just a libero's gift. I don't know to be able to see these things. So Willow Lewington back in the front row for the Lions. Welcome sign. I mean sight. That ball goes into the net. I thought that was going in. What, right when it crossed like the middle of the I court, knew that was going into was the net from the <laughs> moment it hit her hand, Brent. It was floating upwards, and I thought, keep going. But no, it went down. Sticked her back to serve here. Tough float. It's a workable pass yeah, by John Lewington. And you know, too bad. The set is a little bit off for her, and she puts a tip, but ball passed over, and she's ready for a party ball. Which, not in typical uh, Ambrose party ball fashion, she just puts down. It's a convincing kill. Oh, that was so close. Kelsey Olsen. Trying for the shortest of short serves. Interesting serves that she's gone for in the two times that she's served. It's a tight pass. Good, oh, good read, read by. by ah. Yeah, that ball's in. Amazing read by Kerr initially. Was, she just put it over the net. Yeah. Too bad. So Rattler's within three here, and. If you're a Lions fan, we've seen this movie before, and it's scary every time. Good soft block by Brooke Christie, who will bump set Lewis. One-handed dig off Get the block. Up. There we go. Nice. Outside Wait. hand of the outside blocker. That shot has worked almost every time. I love Willis Croft's game, man. Very good left side, a strong offensive option. Able to turn there and wipe it off the block, sort of, while at the same time hitting it hard. And she's a great defender and passer. Good short serve. 
And Kennedy Lewis gets the pass and swing. Johnner cross court. Lewis again from the left side. Tip this time. Come on. Couldn't quite get there, the Ambrose Lions. I would have liked to see the Lions, at least Johnner, who is closer, not give up on the ball and go for the pancake right away. Try to move her feet a little bit more before giving up. We talked about this earlier, Brent. You don't want to hit the floor until after you've made the dig. Much needed, well, not much needed, but they'll definitely I, take it. Yeah. Putting them up four, 22 to 18 here in the third set. With Lewington back to serve. Oh, that was going out. Stichter takes it, and it's going to be a free ball put over. It's That's deep. In. And perfect free ball pass. Well done. Everybody knows it's going to the outside. Good dig by Willis Croft. Ooh, I thought that was going middle. Wow, what a hit by Jonner, but it's dug read. up by Stichter. She's right there. Oh, it's a block, but oh, you hate to see that Looks as like a volleyball OP fan. Couldn't quite make it. That's a tough play as a setter because you want to be able to set the second ball there and for somebody else to dig the ball, so you're a little more hesitant to make yeah. a play on that first dig. But you can't just let it fall. You can't, yeah. Good serving from Lewington. Dig it, Rutabaga. Ah, <laughs> see, I, I did it correctly there. If someone had just yelled before it hit the ground. No, that's not the way you do Rutabaga, Brent. <laughs> you do not. it after it hits the ground, and then they give you the confused face, and you lose the point. So, yeah. Johnner is hitting really well here, but Suchi, what a Ooh, dig. good aggressive swing out of the back row. One foot takeoff. No touch. Oh. I thought there was Ambrose pleading with the official, but no dice. So I can't tell if they're arguing that the ball touched the block or that Lewis was uh, I think was dirty on the back row attack. Dirty meaning in this case, folks, that she was across the attack line. Yes. Kim Stonehouse yelling to the ref, that block was late, 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 meaning they, they couldn't get a touch on it because they weren't even there. Passes over, and it's put down. And it's another Rattler's point. You get the point. feeling Ambrose was up 23-18. If they had just gotten one more point, this game would look out of reach. But right now, it's 23-21. It's super doable for the Rattlers to win this yeah. set. So uh, Colin Kubinick calls a timeout. Right move by him, I think. Looking to add up his, to, excuse me, double his coach's <laughs> point score from one to two. While Kim Stonehouse is over there Breathing fire into her team. Trying to give the fire and brimstone message. Blood and vinegar, as they say. I feel pumped up just watching just that. Watching. Like, I love when a coach goes in there and just lays into their team, but like isn't getting mad at them, just trying to inspire them. Yeah. I love that. It's enough for me just to watch it. Call in a little bit more of a reserved coach. Basically uh, always. Never really, yeah. never, I, I've never seen him get angry in my life. And I've known him for a good five, six years now. Yeah, if he becomes angry on the uh, on the side, I feel like he just crouches. He does the Colin Cuban a crouch. Yep, totally. And and his anger subsides. Kennedy Lewis keeping her team alive here late in the third set. Oh, That's an ace! That's a reverse coach's point. It is. Yeah. So uh, props to Kim Stonehouse. Give one to Kim Stonehouse. She really fired up Lewis, at least. She's serving really well right now. They can work with yeah, that. Let's go. Tips it. Played over here. by Lewis. Johnner swings inside. Wow. Oh, and Ambrose gets the point. That's huge for them. Good swing by Johnner to just really play it safely. Point. Yeah. Even if the uh, Rattlers hadn't been on the net, they still would have won that point. So, Brent, you made the point last set about the Rattlers serving hard to end the set, and they did it again here, put yeah. themselves within reach. Lions got to earn it. That's going out, I thought, taken by Suchi. Put and that back in! Kelsey Olsen! What a great disciplined block by Olsen there on Stinkter. Uh, trying to wipe it off the block, but it just goes right in. 
So the substitution by Colin Kubinek trying to get more height on the outside block. I, I'd say it worked, Brent. Like, we saw how effectively they were able to shut down Stinker there that yep. set. Not, maybe shut down isn't the right word, but... Um, contain, I would say. Contain's the perfect word, yeah. So the Lions are up 2-1 to one in sets after falling to this Med Hat team 3-0 last night, so better look for them. Yeah, home court advantage can be a real thing. And I, I wasn't at the game last night, but I, I'm willing to bet that they've worked out a couple of things they need to fix from that loss. Yeah, definitely. And they're looking all right here, but uh, Medicine Hat more than capable. We're going to try to get Brad Kilb up here for a really quick interview. Hopefully. So stick around if you want to hear some really valuable insights. All right, sorry everybody. Hate to do this to you, but we're not gonna be able to get Brad Kilb up here. I am actually really disappointed. If you are unfamiliar with the volleyball world, Brad Kilb is a legend. Um, Absolute legend. Been refing, of course, for years in Calgary and the surrounding area, but uh, coached the women's national team, I believe. I, I'm not actually sure with the, the specifics. Back in his prime. Um, and has been such a great mentor, not just for Kala Kubinik, the coach of this team, but also for all of the girls that he's coached. Yeah, um, he's become the quote-unquote team dad yeah. for the women's volleyball program That's here. Right. So. Such a good presence, and like, I feel lucky that he's involved with the school. We are lucky, honestly, we're, to yeah, have someone of his lucky. caliber involved. Yeah. So disappointing. Sorry, folks, that we couldn't get him. I hope we'll that, get him for the next game. I hope that little spiel. Uh, made up for him not actually talking, but us pumping his tires for a couple of minutes really uh, satisfied your craving. Uh, one thing I will, one more thing I will say about Brad Kilb is that if he was up here and we asked him what uh, about some of the keys to the game, what this team could do better, he is a very individual focused person. He will, he's all about relationships as a coach. He believes in building into his players. And I guarantee that if we were to ask him uh, about what they need to do, he would say something along the lines of believing in what they can do, playing to the best of their abilities, um, and encouraging each other on the court. That's that's what Brad Kilb's mantra is, I believe. Yeah, often, you know, as you'll see with a lot of assistant coaches, but he'll take a certain player aside, we notice something specific about, and tell her exactly what she needs to change. And it helps when you're getting specific advice as a player. You know, you need to be reaching in with your right hand on the block instead of instead of be a better blocker. Something yeah, specific. Yeah, not really, really helpful, help. right? Hey, the slide connects that time with Lesko. Nice to see. And oh, look at that! 25-22, and Ambrose has won the game. <laughs> Just kidding. Just didn't take the score down from last game. One nothing for Ambrose. But who's counting? Brent reminds me of uh, back when you and I used to pass as left sides, liberos, whatever on our team, and some right side or middle, somebody who didn't even know how to pass, say something to the effect of, "All right, boys, just get a pass." It just I'm one thinking, pass. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll just, get a pass. Just pass. Oh, I'll oh. get this one. Is that what you wanted? I didn't know. I was I'll just to get pass. a perfect pass this time. Thanks for the advice. Anyways, yeah, that's not what's still still <laughs> in me over that stuff. Yeah, it's been a while. Another middle run with Let's Go. Yeah, really yeah, forced in the middle. Dig. That ball, I think, hits the block. Yeah, yeah, goes out of bounds on the Ambrose side. They're really doing all they can to force the middle. Which I like. You know what? I, I actually wanted her to go back to Let's Go so bad there. Let's Go pass the ball after hitting it. I just feel like it's so in rhythm in the flow of the game. Let's Go, nice, smart play to put it down where nobody is standing. 
You know what? I like that run, but at the same time, I don't like it because every setter loves to run middle after the middle passes it. Every setter loves to do that. Yeah, maybe I'm just partial to that. Good serving from Joner. Stick to her. set. Wow. Stakes. What a block. Kelsey Olsen. Olsen has come in here and been such a good presence on the block. And that time, uh, I was not expecting the swinger to hit that, that close to the antenna. I guess the set was pretty well, far The set outside. was tight anyways. I didn't think she was going to swing at all. Yeah, that's right. Olsen, very disciplined block there. Great pass there by Lewis. On the net there is Ambrose. <laughs> so Je Janessa Olke taking no chances with the tightness of that set. Yeah, that was, I was going to say, that's an interesting set. It's basically an A ball. <laughs> Stitcher can, she can run those. Willis Croft off the block. That's down. That ball is down. Yep. Wow. Referee. Man, I don't know if you guys seeing it. But I don't know if you guys could hear this on the on the mics here, but the, the strong, confident flag whip yeah. of the lines official. Well called. Referee relying on his lines people. Rest called a great game tonight, I gotta say. Good deep serve. It's a deep, deep to the serve. corner from Lester. That's a rare thing to see. Yep. The Lions trying to turn the tables on the Rattlers a little bit, making them think about deep serves, trying to get a little miscommunication on the other side of the team. That's right. the so net. far, it seems like the team that's gotten off to a fast start uh, in these sets has been the victor. And they're going at Stichter. Well, a good, good strategy play. when you're serving the ball is if you don't know who to serve to, serve to the front row left side, because it's a difficult thing to pass and transition and get an effective shot. Especially when a strong player like Stinkter is in the front row, you want to take her out as much as possible. Nice pass from Johnner. And it could dig off the good block. Dig. And a block. Lewington ends that well, rally. Lewington, what a great dig by Maddie Kerr. I didn't even see her until she had already dug the ball up. Of course. So even though the Rattlers finally block Lewington, able to stop her, they still lose the point. Maddie Kerr in her fourth year. Played her first three years as a left side, now a libero. I miss seeing Maddie Kerr play left side, honestly. It's fun to watch. Another block Lewington. by Lewington. It's closing all the doors in the all front row. on the net now, right now. And Stonehouse calls the first time out of this fourth set. So the lines are, the, the lines are clicking, I gotta say. Yeah, they're playing really well. Um, not even, I mean, yeah, they're hitting the ball well, but defensively especially. Defensively, exactly. Their net play is uh, particularly has been outstanding to start this set. And let me ask you something. How many serves have they missed this set? Uh, because you asked, I'm going to say zero. I don't think they have. I, don't, I think you're right. I don't don't quote me on this. Serve. I haven't been keeping track. We have this empty stat sheet here in front of us. This has been a failed empty. experiment, Brent. So empty. We're just too, we're too busy. busy listening to ourselves talk to even think about putting stats down. I think, yeah. But if we could write these stats down, if we had time, I really don't think there would be any from this set. Miss serves, that is. Yes. So that's been the difference. They're playing cleaner. They're making less errors. They're defending well. And they're putting all the pressure on the Rattlers to perform. That's really all, that's the dynamic here, is that the Rattlers feel all the pressure here. Totally. And, uh, so volleyball, game, volleyball is a game of momentum, and I don't expect this sort of pace, uh, this sort of level from Ambrose to continue. Uh, well, it may continue for Ambrose, but I definitely don't expect this level to continue for the Rattlers. I expect them to bounce back and Yeah, I'd be very surprised if the lead continued to stretch out as it has so far. Just like that. So that's a coach's point for Kim Stonehouse, Ooh. who takes the lead it, no, no, uh, over Colin Cuban. Yeah, you're right. One. Although technically her first coach's point was a reverse coach's point. I, I think that still counts as a point, though, right? Yeah, okay. We need to figure out the scoring system for this game. Good pass by Johnner, and Lewington tips it. Wasn't able to quite connect with Lewington there, was Zacharias, but that still works. effective. Getting over the high block of Megan Hober. First year middle standing six feet tall out of Aberdeen, Saskatchewan. Oh, there's a T-Rex in the crowd. Look at that. Oh, 
good play by Zacharias to play that off the block. ball. Ambrose has another chance. Jonathan is blocked though. Kerr almost gets it off the block again. I can't tell if, if Zacharias did that intentionally or if she was just trying to play it over, but that was yeah. genius. I, I was, if, uh, yeah, I was giving, gonna give her the credit, but that would be, yeah, that would be absolutely incredible. Good pass by John, wow. Lewington, hard swing off the block. Easily played in Doug. What a, oh! oh. <laughs> Lions get it. Willis Croft. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can say. Like, that was a great swing. A good dig from Ambrose that just went back on the Rattler side, and well, that's I, so tough to be ready for. I, from this angle, I can't really see. I feel like it might have been going out. Going out, but for Oki moving backwards, that's impossible to make a read on. Tight pass from Stigter. A two-hit call. The ref's been letting those go. Uh, the top spin on the ball there. And I don't think any player would complain about that being a two-hit call. No, I wasn't even watching the ball, to be honest, because Olki did brush the net after she set the ball. And she was moving while she set it, and maybe that influenced the decision a little bit more. It's a nice roll shot into the Lions. Played up off the block. Johnner, no approach, just a roll shot. Yeah. Red by the defense, but it'll be a free ball. The tip scores from Zacharias. Suchi saw it coming. She just couldn't put it back up. Either she saw it coming or her reactions are incredible. Yeah. She was already in, she was already running by the time Zacharias put it over. So, Brent, I'm not writing the Rattlers off uh, yet because they're more than capable of coming back and winning the next two sets. Uh, but there are some things that I've noticed in the past two sets, some, some you know, very clear weaknesses in their game um, that I'm going to go into detail once we have a timeout, perhaps. Good deep serve there from Lewington, continuing to produce from behind the uh, service but, line. But passing has been one of their weak points here. Um, Tough one there for Suchi. That's really deep. And Lewington is a strong server, but their offensive game needs to need some time to improve here, the Rattlers. First of all, in passing, as they get a lucky break there with a missed serve. Second of all, they've got a young setter in Olki, who's made a few mistakes here and isn't quite clicking with her hitters yet, um, but has the potential, has the talent. In case By the end it. of the season, I think this will be a really different team. I think you're right. Oh, that ball falls. That's number nine, Ray Ann Vero. First year right side out of Tabor, Alberta. Coming in as a substitution for number seven, Kennedy Lewis. Tabor, of course, famous for uh, corn. Really great corn. Yeah, really great corn. Serve goes into the net, and that kind of looks exactly like what the Lions did in the second set. Yeah, this game isn't over, but the body language of the Rattlers is poor. Yeah. I would not, say. not encouraging. Discouraging, you might say. And both, tree, uh, both teams seem to be riding the mist train here in the Lions' den. Let's see if Vero can put in a good strong serve and get us back to playing volleyball. The mist train rolls on. Let's see how Johnner can get us off these tracks. Let's see how far I can take this mist train analogy. <laughs> Substitution here, coming in on the right side. Looks like Brooke Christie, Brooke, Brooke, yeah. Brooke Christie will be coming out of the game in favor of Grace Porter, first year player. And from Medicine Hat. Looking at this lineup here, it's actually a very young team on the Med Hat side. Mm. All first years. All first, second, and third years. Only two, only three third years on the team. That would be the vets. Tough pass there. Ambrose has not been the greatest on their free ball passing tonight, Brent. Lots of really tight passes. 
You want to be good with your free ball pass, but it doesn't have to necessarily be perfect. There's room for error. Now on this free ball, no, that's not a great free ball pass either. Wow, that is, you know, you're right. Um, the body language of the Rattlers. It's like, everything it's like they've up already to, lost the game, Everything right? leading up to and including that point, which was a, a bad free ball pass and a double contact on the set. So they'd be looking for you quite a bit of momentum to finish this game. Yeah, it just doesn't give you a ton of confidence. Ambrose continuing to miss some serves here. Not what you want to see. Well, both teams really are just have forgotten the importance of serving, apparently. Like you were saying, Brent, another missed serve. Second year setter Sarah Jans coming in to serve for Kelsey Olsen. Olsen, a dominant blocker, but not the strongest server. Yep. Puts in a deep serve, making Suchi think about it, but it's a good pass. Good soft touch there by Lewington, but the ball just unable to come back. It just gets caught in the hands of Sarah Jans. That run. Another miss from the Rattlers. Oy vey. <laughs> that is a lot. I don't, a of, lot all of, the, of all the times not to keep track of miss serves, we picked this set. But to be honest, I mean, both teams, just back and forth. And like, you just saw Kim Stonehouse looked up to the roof in exasperation. Missed block there from Lewington. Lines up six points, 18 to 12 here, in what could be the Rattlers' final set. Megan Hober. Serves that one, she just puts it in. Zacharias runs Good the middle. middle. run there. Really nice flow to that play. Like perfectly timed by Lewington there on that block, on that hit. Lewington puts in a good float serve. Really nice, dropped a lot. Stinkter from the back row. Zacharias to Johnner. Dug by Suchi. Christie dug by Jans and played well over by Lesko. By oh, the follow through of Mackenzie Bad Griffith. Bad break for the Rattlers. Carries her hand into the net. Good defense by the Lions. Keeping it alive after an offensive onslaught by the Rattlers. The hands of Ali Lesko not pressed over hard enough that time gets trapped between her body and the net. That'll be point Rattlers as the Lions are up 20 to 13. Wow, okay, and they'll take that. That's a, a miscommunication ace, we're gonna call that. Rattlers still in this game. Although it's starting to look pretty grim. Still within reach here. Johnner swings off the block. Ambrose block is on the net, and the lead is down to five. Here they go. You see the body language of the Rattlers start to change, start to turn around. They're getting pumped up. Important to not make any mistakes right now at this point. A missed serve would destroy your momentum. And they get the opposite. That's an ace, and the lead is down to four. And Colin calls a timeout. Wisely, I believe. Yeah. 
as you were saying, volleyball is a game of momentum. And the Sorry, Lions, say, Brent? volleyball is a game of momentum. Yep. yep. And what the Lions need to do here is execute, essentially. They just need a quick side out. And if you don't know what a side out is, that is a, a pass and swing. Like, just a quick offensive kill. Yep. Like, I actually, I've always seen it as a uh, just getting a point. Yeah. When you're not serving. I guess so. But then why would you call it a side out if it's just a point? I, I think it's uh, it harkens back to when they played. Um, what do you call that? Serve point? Rally point? No, rally point is when any point, even a miss serve, is a point for the other team. Okay, then I don't know what it was called. I think it's something like service point. But back in the day, yes, you couldn't actually win a point if you weren't serving. So to, to side out the ball is to get the ball back so that you can start to win points. Volleyball history lesson. <laughs> it's not it's not really that well sourced or verified explained. <laughs> or explained. But we're all you got, folks. Good pass that time. Wow, nice. Big Good swing play from Jonner. That's what they need to keep this <laughs> run alive. And the Ambrose players all have their own distinct celebrations. And it's like none of them can quite believe what's happening. They all, their minds are all blown simultaneously in different ways expressed by the players. Yeah, people are sort of, some people are flailing their arms, others are stomping their feet. My favorite was, uh, I think Julia Kemper yeah. she stomps her feet when she celebrates. It's, it's the best. Step run to Griffith. What a dig by Suchi off the block. Another block. And Olke runs Lewis. Nicely dug by Willitscroft. Johnner, deep dug by Stigter. Lewis, one-handed dig. Tough one. Way to hang curve. in there by the Rattlers. That was a tough point for them to win. Johnner had a great point. Um, such a good block. She's been blocking well all game. A good attack on the ball as well. So it looks like we've emerged from this missed serve fiasco. And, and look at this. Mazes. Look at this. It's three points. I think they were up by eight at one point. Yeah, I think I think that's at least uh, close. Yeah. Oh, what a bad break for the Rattlers. Ah, uh, looks like the block of Jess Somebody's Janessa Olke. Stonehouse asking who was on the net. Did the ref signal, signal a number there? Two. A number two? Janessa Olke. Lucky break for the Lions there. It's tight set. And that's off the block and then on the antenna, yeah? Yep. Good job by Stigter to keep that alive. All of a sudden, the game is real close. 22 to 19. Yeah, and if you're an Ambrose fan, you're sweating right now. It's looking like Medicine Hat has all the momentum. Lesko runs it deep, but that ball is dug. Stigter with a dug strong Dug by Johnner. Hit. Deep free ball. Kerr bump sets, Willis-Croft yes. sneaks its way through the block. You can always count on Willis-Croft <laughs> to put a strong swing in that type of scenario. Something I always love doing as a player. I'd love to see another player be able to do it too. Oh, that was so close though. Yeah. That was <laughs> dribbled over the tape in between the blockers. Be still my heart. Kill's a kill. Good out of system set by Olki. Wills and Wills again. She's getting it done for her team late in the and fourth that's an set. an important point there for the Lions. Going up 24 to 19. Stonehouse calls a timeout, but her team's going to be hard pressed to come back and win this set. So some clutch play from some young Ambrose Lions. 
Lewington, first of all, who's been outstanding all game. Yep. Willis Croft has come alive here in the last set. She's been great all game, too. She really has. Johnner has been such a good net player uh, this game, and good in her other aspects of her game, too, but in blocking especially. And, of course, the people you always forget about because they're doing their job well, the setters. Zacharias has also Classic. been doing really well. Yep. Yeah, there are certain people you just never notice because they're doing everything right. Like referees. Like ref referees. setters. Refs called a good game. They, they almost never get credit for that. So after a bit of a scare, with the Rattlers coming back to within three points at one point, the lead is back to five, and Ali Lesko will serve to try and win the game here. Lions sitting at 24 to 19. Set goes out to Stigton. Cross court and dug by Lesko. That's over. Wow, what a dig. Dug by Johnner. Willis Croft off the block. That's dug. Stigter again. Blocked. And, and that's the Lions point. What Lions a great game. last point for the Lions. Two outstanding digs in the back row. One by a middle. And then a huge block on Stigter to win the game. Good closeout by the Lions. Yeah, like you said, a little bit of a scare with uh, the momentum shift there in the fourth set. But uh, congratulations well done. to the Ambrose Lions on closing that set out. And you know what? We didn't go to five. <laughs> it's a four set game. I am so happy to hear that. Yeah, me too. All right, so players of the game, Brent. I was actually asked my opinion on who I think should get the players of the game. But I'll uh, leave uh, my votes until after the decision has been made here. Well, for the Lions, it, could go, think, it could go either Willa Lewington or, or Willis Croft. Yes. I think both of them had tremendous game. I think so too. And then uh, anyone but stick turf for you on the Rattlers? Suchi played a good game. Suchi, yeah, I would give it to her. She got touches on everything. It's unbelievable at a certain point. You, just, you get used to the little yellow missile flying around the court. I don't know how to describe it. She's <laughs> everywhere at once. Yeah. Wrong again, are we, Brent? Kennedy Lewis, also a great game from her. Yeah, great um, serving. And, uh, yeah, great serving, great attacking. And it's Willis Croft for the Lions. So a couple of left sides having really good games for their respective teams tonight. So nice game from the Lions. Winning in four, nice bounce back after that quick three-set loss last night. Yeah, and especially uh, good composure to come back and win after that second set, which was pretty disheartening if you're a Lions fan. That's right. So what we like to do here after the games, folks, is we like to interview the player of the game. So it'll be uh, Willis Croft for the Lions, as well as the head coach, Colin Kubinick, trying and to gain some insight into what happened. Yeah, we didn't get to do that last week. So if you really missed that last week and you're, you're coming back, and you got high hopes for this? I promise we will try our best. So stick around for that.
All right, thanks for joining me, Maddie Willis-Croft. Nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you, too. And all right, I just wanted to ask a couple of questions. First of all, how did it feel on the court tonight? Tell me so, about your team. So great. Everyone's energy was just so amazing, especially being at home. Like, can really feed off of the crowd, and everyone's just so positive the entire game. So. Nice. Well, as far as your performance, I thought you had a great game, most of all defensively, but also offensively. What was, this, what was the secret to your success? Um, I think just playing like it's your last point you're ever going to play. Like you really just got to go for it. And having so much faith in the people around me, knowing that whatever I'm going to do, they're going to support me and help me with if I shake a pass or if I make a great hit, they're going to celebrate what I do. So it's really all about the team mindset and just knowing that like I am as great as I can be with everybody else around me. That's great. Thank you. Okay, well, who do you guys have next week? Briarcrest? Uh, yes, I believe. They are coming to us. So. Okay, well, stay tuned for that, everybody. And uh, good luck next weekend. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, coming up next, we're going to get the head coach, Colin Kubinek, asking roughly the same questions. We're getting some different answers. So thanks for sticking around. After these interviews, we're going to switch on over to the stream for the guys game. But for the time being, please stay here and wait to hear some head coach insights direct from the man himself, Colin Kubinek. All right, nice win, coach. Good hey, job. Thanks, Brent. Uh, how'd you prepare for this game? What were your thoughts going into it? Well, uh, we had a rougher night yesterday in Med Hat, so there's a lot of lot of uh, stewing and preparing definitely today. But um, you know, we we really felt that a lot of it stemmed from the serve pass game yesterday. Uh, we served pretty soft and knew that if we could serve a little tougher tonight, that would open up all aspects of our game. So that was a big focus for us. And I think also too, just you know, getting away from some of our our game, just keeping the ball on our side and keeping the focus on our side. Just being about executing, and uh, I think that just the girls were in a great frame of mind today, so it was super, super pumped. Yeah, it definitely seemed to work. Maybe not so much in the second set, but everything else, you guys really looked composed and focused. All right, uh, what do you think your biggest strength was tonight as a team? Um, I think, well, it's interesting, you know, I, uh, I had five uh, rookies on the floor for a big part of the match, and. The rookies bring a, a, a kind of a fearlessness and, a, and an energy, and I think that uh, we really fed off that today. Um, I think also too, uh, just we we blocked better tonight than we did yesterday, mm -hmm. and that seemed to that seemed to help uh, shutting down number 11, and she she tore us apart last night. So that was a big a big key to stop her. So. Yeah. Well, you've got Briarcrest next week, two games here, and how are you feeling? What are you going to think about? going into that game because they also have uh, their own unstoppable left side to deal with. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it seems to be a bit of a common theme in our league that there's uh, a real go-to left side on each team and um, yeah, we're looking forward to playing her. She's been a, a great player for you know, in her fifth year now and so she obviously is someone that we, we think about and game plan around. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna just prepare like we usually do. We're going to focus on how we can exploit other teams' weaknesses and maximize our strengths. And Briarcrest def definitely going to be strong, but uh, we love to play play good teams, so we're excited. Great. Well, good luck and uh, great win again tonight. Thank you, Brent. All right, everybody. That about wraps it up for what we've got going on here in the women's stream. If you want to stick around and watch the men's game, it'll be coming up in about 20 minutes. You're going to have to switch over to the men's stream. So if you're already on ACAC TV, I'm going to assume you have some knowledge about how to navigate around the site. So you're going to have to go and find the men's Ambrose versus Medicine Hat match and just mosey on over that way. And we'll see you there. We'll be there too. Glad you joined us, folks. Take care.